is my life. My life, my life. Maya and Ria is my life. My life, my life. Maya and Ria is my life. What's up, YouTube? And I'm back again with another video. Thank you. So, how you guys been doing? How you guys been? It's been, I think, a week since I've recorded my last video. And, you know, I'm going to give y'all a little backstory before I give it, get into this video. You know, from the previous videos, I've said I wanted to take, sorry, Ooh. I wanted to take YouTube seriously, which I already do, but I mean more seriously to the point I'm like consistent, stuff like that, but because like I said, of different life experience, the mood I'm in at the time of the day, if somebody annoys me or not, it deters me away from what I'm actually doing because the other situation is knocking me off the road, I, my head is already on, so every time y'all see me say, oh, I'm gonna be more consistent, that was false to the power. <sighs> It was false in the past because I allow other things get in the way of what I'm supposed to do. So for now on, I will be posting more and I will be more consistent because this is my job, this is my passion, and I'm not letting nothing else get in between me and my passion. So enough rambling. We're gonna get right into this video. So let's get right into the video. Okay. So today, guys, today's video will be about insecurities. And why did I make this video about this? It's because, like, it's something that everybody has. It's something that everybody's dealing with. It, it don't matter if you're male or female. Everybody has insecurities. So I personally want to bring minds to the table. And not really mine. I don't really have a lot of insecurities right now because a lot of them I worked on, but I can say to you guys, you know, throughout my life, what I was worried about, what I didn't like about myself. And even till now, I, I have the same things I might be talking about previously that happened previously and it's probably still there now and I personally don't care. But like I said, let's get right into it. So, growing up, Since I've been born, really, of course, every girl, if you're a girl, your mom is doing your hair or, you know, you're going to get your hair done by a stylist, you know, most of the time you're going to go get your hair straightened or you're getting your hair braided. You never heard back then anybody going to a shop to get a natural hairdo or, you know, what people are into now. So... I'm not sure if you guys pay attention in most of my videos. I really have my hair like natural, but it'd be like in a bun, different bun hairstyles and stuff like that. So that wasn't me before. Me before, I used to really, every two weeks, wash and set, clip ends, like my hair was never curly. I never liked my natural hair state because I always felt like, oh, if I was to wear my natural hair, I would get teased and stuff like that because I was so worried about everybody else's opinion instead of my own. So I never really liked my hair at all. I only liked it when you saw the hair length because everybody would be like, oh my God, like, is that all yours? And I would just rub it in people's faces like, yeah, it's all mine. It's not a fake, it's all right. <laughs> but other than that, I really did not like my hair and also back then I, I my hair was doing like a weird thing like in the back it was like long by the way full ponytail bowl, bowl headed wearable but anyways back then I used to have like different layers in my hair like one one section of my head would be like short and then the next section in the back it would be like super long and every and like different hairstyles I couldn't really do because my hair would stick out like the shorter part would stick out and the long part would just look completely fine or like if I wanted to do like if any of y'all remember the little twisties in the front and leave the hair out in the back I couldn't really do that either because of my hair how my hair was like I was so extremely OCD 
about my hair. My hair had to be straight 24 seven. I don't care if I just wet it at the park. I'm going home, washing it, blow drying it, and flat ironing it. After a while, really, I've been flat ironing my hair most of the time since I've been like in middle school. I say I started flat ironing my own hair. And from then, it was like a every two week thing. And mindful, like the information I know now about hair, I didn't know that flat ironing your hair would damage your hair, make your hair like, you know, your natural curl is like completely gone. Because if I was to show y'all if my hair was still, you know, curly, because I had to blow it out to put my ends and straighten and stuff. But if I could, if I was able to show y'all my hair being natural, I have like sections in my hair where it's like my front is still like completely damaged by heat and like the back is still it has that curl still so that's really an example of heat damage also like what's another insecurity when i was younger you know i have a big head which i don't which sounds crazy because i've never really feel like not a lot of people have a small head but okay but you know as kids when you growing up in school people love to play bully and bully people and like tease people so a lot of people you see, you know, make fun of my forehead and call me like Megamind and stuff like that. Mind you, those were the same people that liked me. So let's put it in that book, okay? But still, like, people really used to call me like names. Like, just because I used to like, like I told y'all in my last video, I had like back fat my whole life. So when I was younger, I used to like to wear sweaters because I didn't like to show my back fat. And because of you wearing the sweaters all the time, of course your underarms will be sweaty. Like any person cannot tell me who wear a sweater 24 seven and you never take it off. Your underarms are going to sweat and you're gonna be musty. That is a fact. Cause I used to do that when I was younger and it was not cute. It was not cool. It wasn't girly. I felt like a straight dude and I'm not a dude, period. But like yeah like i used to be very self-conscious of my back fat i never really liked my back fat because i never wanted to get teased as a kid who wants to be teased like who has time for that who has time to be old discouraged because somebody's talking bad about me or trying to be funny nobody has time for that so that was another insecurity um also dealing with hair i used to have bangs so I can cover my forehead and you know the back was always fine so I never worked really worried about that but my bangs was important I had bangs for like about I'll say two through four years I had bangs and then after that I just decided to grow it out because I'm like I'm not gonna I can't continue to keep hiding my forehead like Real talk, I'm not the only person out here that has a big head, big forehead, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to category, put it in the category as, I don't care. Like, there's a lot of people out here that got big foreheads. Like, you better get used to it. It don't matter. Like, I don't know why I keep dropping this thing, y'all, but I'm sorry. But, like, I really used to, and, it, and it's funny to me now, y'all, like, how self-conscious I used to be. Because it's like, when I look back, I'd be like, anybody that's growing up as a kid, I don't care, adult, grandmother, grandfather, everybody that's on this planet, growing up, you had certain things that you did not like. So I just don't understand why people tease other people when you have certain things that you don't like about yourself. Like, we, like if people really thought about it, like you could really sit and connect with people and be like, oh, you know, I don't really like this this and that third about me well girl i don't like this and that third about me either like we could get through this together we can you know whatever we don't like we can change naturally or you know what i'm saying we can work on it you know we can work on our self-esteem but no everybody likes to be how you say a bir birds flock together or whatever so everybody want to be puppets so that's what everybody wanted to do tease people and do all the extra stuff here and all the extra stuff. but like what's another insecurity this is another insecurity guys when i 
when I was in about third to fourth grade, I used to wear like, um, I used to like wearing skirts and like dresses back then too, but not as much. But there was a time where I was in class and some boy thought he was funny and lift up my skirt. <laughs> now see now, at this point, this is when I could completely turn into a tomboy. You couldn't catch me with no skirt, no dress on. It was only pants, khaki pants, if you know what I mean. If you used to wear uniform in school, boo, it used to be khaki pants, navy blue pants, or sweats. That's it. You wasn't catching me with no girly stuff since y'all boys wouldn't be funny and thirsty. How you thirsty in third grade? There's enough milk to go around. Like, I just don't understand it. It's just, it, it, it confuses me. It just really hurts my mind to really think about how people really act like this at young ages, but we're not even going to talk about that. But what else did I didn't like back then? Oh, even up until high school, people used to talk about my stomach. Oh, I got a muffin top. Girl, boy. Like, if you don't like my stomach, and I, you know, like that, that stuff really used to bother me. And the person I am now, I'm just like, yo, why did I even let any of what anybody else was saying bother me? Because at the end of the day, what somebody is saying about me right now, that's how they feel about themselves. But nobody's real enough to just say, oh, I got this problem with me. No, they just want to tease you and do jokes and do all the extra because they think they're funny. And it's not funny. Like, it's not funny. That's how you feel about yourself. That's why you're coming over here. But okay. But, um, like, what else, y'all? I have a little planner, by the way, for any YouTubers. I recommend my planner is cute. I write in it every day. My videos, like, thanks to my boyfriend over here for buying this for me. But I really do use this all the time. It's very helpful. I recommend any YouTuber to get one because I be on it. But back to the topic on hand, like, I really feel like insecurities is based on other people's opinions. Because if nobody was to say anything to anybody, nobody wouldn't have an insecurity. Why? Because you 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 would be too busy worrying about your own and fixing your own insecurities to sit there and talk about somebody else's. Like that's what my vision is is on now. Like I'm not worried about what somebody what the next person has to say about me. Because obviously you have too much time in your hands to be talking about me. Because in life you should be working on and building yourself. And not over here what, thinking about what I'm wearing, what I, what's on my body, what's wrong with me. Like, you shouldn't be worried about that, sweetheart. You should be, you know, fixing yourself, getting yourself going. Insecurities is bull. To be honest, I do have some still. Like, like I told y'all in my last video, I still don't like my back fat. I still, I still have a little, a little bit of stomach and I don't like, but that's been me my whole life. I didn't have to have nobody to tell me, oh, you got that, ha, 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 or you got a little piece of stomach on the top. <laughs> that's been my own insecurity for myself to deal with. I've been dealing with that for so long. So you coming up and telling me about that, it's not going to hurt me, not one bit. So I'm still going to wear what I want to wear. I'm still going to go outside how I want to go outside. If you don't like what I like or what I look like, then just don't look. It's not for you to look. If you're looking, then that's your choice. That's just how I feel. But, yeah, I really just wanted to make this video because, like I said, I'm trying to be more consistent. I'm trying to be on my game. I'm not trying to have my headspace in nowhere else but <laughs> this. If it ain't about this, I don't, I don't want nothing to talk about. Sorry. But, yeah, you guys, I really, to all jokes aside, I really wanted to have this video and do this video to just really point out back then and show how crazy. It wasn't crazy because it's just human nature. But to me, it's just how crazy it was, how self-conscious I was because of other people's opinions, like... 
and at the age I am now looking back and still developing and as a person still because it never stops I'm like whatever I don't like now it's an easy fix I'm not fixing nothing on my face I'm not putting anything in my body that don't need to be there or wasn't there by itself I'm not doing none of that if I want to look how I want to look to my definition then I'm going to work hard doing it naturally or if I don't like something like I said or if something the way it is is on me is the way it is then it is what it is I'm not going to fight or trying to prove something to somebody that don't even matter like even if you do matter it still don't matter that's just how I feel I'm not letting nobody knock me on how I feel about myself. I'm very confident. I'm not insecure about nothing. And that's what it is. I may have things I don't like about myself, but it's not an insecurity to the point like, oh my God, it's gonna make me cry if you talk about it. No, it's not ever gonna be that. Sorry. But yeah, you guys, I really just wanted to do this video to, you know, to be the start of my consistent posting because I'm serious about that. I'm not choking. I'm not playing. So, yet, yet again, you guys, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being on this journey with me. And a round of applause for 47 subscribers. Yes, I haven't moved barely, but yes, I got one. The road to many more, and I'm happy. But make sure you please like, comment, and subscribe. And please press that notification bell so you will be notified when I do post. And I hope you're ready for this journey because I'm ready. I got a video for every day. For the rest of life. I, I'm joking. I don't, got a, I don't got that many videos for the rest of life. But you guys, I know what I'm about to say right See you on the next video. And yes, please stay tuned because this one coming up right after this one. So, peace.